The other thing is this argument about the argument from hypocrisy, the argument that the left, I mean, the left, <laughs> they are hypocrites at a level I do not think the right even dreamed. I don't even think we can aspire to the hypocrisy of the left. I mean, they're racists who denounce racism. You know, they're people who decide that if you are Clarence Thomas, you're not a, a good enough black person to go into the African American Museum. I mean, it's insane racism. They divide us by race. And, and we who believe in the e pluribus unum, that we're all linked together by the great American idea, you know, they attack us for not dividing it. They are racists who denounce racism. They glamorize and forgive child molestation all the time. Uh, you know, Roman Polanski, they make movies glamorizing child molestation. The Reader, the Woodman, I mentioned these the other day. And then, you know, when, when somebody says something on the right, if they can shoot him down, suddenly they're all, they're all shocked. Most of all, they have this thing about inclusion, which includes only those people who agree with them. They are the most exclusionary people. But, but... This is why I despise them, right? So the argument that, well, they do it, so we can do it, and not so much, you know? It has, it has a little bit of that validity. I'll, I'll, I'll grant us a little bit of validity. I'm not going to apologize for every piece of uh, hypocrisy on the right or every piece of, uh, you know, everything that they condemn. I'm not going to apologize for anything, basically. But, but I'm not going to use that as an argument to defend my positions. My positions, ha we have to know what we believe. We have to defend our positions from that. 